Hello guys, this is uh, where I usually do my retreats in Uruguay. The place is called La Pedrera and it's uh, quite amazing all around view. And um, maybe someday we'll get to do our own retreat here if you feel like. Um, I am uh, connecting today on Sunday just to make uh, a few remarks about the comments of uh, Judith about uh, the yin and yang. Basically contraction and expansion is the dynamics that we're talking about when um, we talk about the manifestation stream of energy and the liberation stream of energy. What I said was movement comes from underneath, from below. And, uh, and form com or manifestation comes from above. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do uh, uh, animation for you to, to see later on when I send you the notes of the class. But um, it works like this, you know, um, heat, for example, expands. And if you have the idea of um, a volcano in the center of the earth with a lot of heat and the energy comes up through the surface of the earth into a volcano, a geyser or any other sort of um, up uh, stream. And uh, if you know from Chinese medicine the bubbling spring point, kidney one, that we, we used in the f demonstration class, is one of the most calming points in the body, but at the same time is called bubbling spring. And the image of a bubbling spring is not necessarily a calming um, uh, image. It's quite active. You know, it's like, uh, first of all, it's coming from underneath, from, from down to up. And um, in that uh, coming up uh, movement and the, the, and the bubbling, and uh, uh, it it describes how the energy of the earth is, how the feminine energy uh, is. It's expansive, you know. From a center, from the center of the earth, it goes like that. Okay. Now, if you visualize how the sky is at night, uh, the stars, even the, the light of the stars is white, is, is cool, is, is cold, uh, is dark. And when you cool something down, it contracts, okay? So it's in that contraction um, uh, phase of the movement that materializes things, you know, because if you have something really, really light and subtle, until you uh, start to contract it and contract it and contract it more and more and more, uh, you won't have mass, you won't have shape. Only when it becomes dense enough, it will show up as a, as a 3D uh, shape manifested in form. Okay, So you need the, the stream that comes from above in order to manifest that. And the, the stream that comes from below it is called the liberation stream because it, it liberates us from form okay it's like a bomb you know i, I can hold a, a grenade in my hand and once it explodes the, i cannot hold it anymore it has no boundaries it is it has become a wave but if i rewind the explosion and it goes like and then it will show up again in form that's uh, the meaning of, of what I, I taught in the class. And that's what I, uh, I observe how it works with, with the chakras. The fact that you go up journeying, and uh, we have had uh, the last 2,000 years of, um, of uh, conditioning that spirituality is up. Okay? God is up, is above. But God is everywhere. Spirituality is everywhere. It's either, you know, you, you expand and once you expand, you connect with everything or you contract. And when you contract, you separate from everything. So uh, if, if something very big contracts, you know, it, it leaves a lot of space around. 
and that one thing is going to be separated from the the next thing that contracted somewhere else you know so it's it's no the uh, separation comes with contraction and unification comes with expansion all right so if you if you uh, are journeying as i said you know if you go up as most people have been doing in the last uh, 2000 years you know that you know you need to elevate and you need to go up and um and go high and 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 so on um the dynamic that is happening now is that um because the vibration of the planet has uh reached a point where if you keep going up you know you're going to lose your your shape you're going to lose your form and in order to to um, be able to be in balance with the vibration of the speed that is making us expand a lot more in the last few years, we need more grounding and we need to uh, go down a, uh, more. Okay, so um, I don't know if this explains your uh, question about the, 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 the experiences that, that you had with journeying and, and going into different realms of uh, spirit. And, uh, but what we're risking now is that by, by going up so much, you know, by expanding so much, that we're going to lose form. We need to call that uh, manifestation stream of energy into our bodies again. You know, instead of getting rid of a body, uh, as it used to be before that in order to become truly spiritual you had to die and get rid of your body and and, uh, and deny your feelings and deny your sensations in order to elevate yourself now we need to come back into the body so we spiritualize the body so all those f fancy places where uh, we are uh, we go on journeying now we have to bring them down back into the body okay the body is our shape, is our 3D shape. And, and what we need to do is, after we expand it so much, we need to bring those um, very subtle and fast vibrations back into our body. And that is why I think that in, in, the, in the last few years, we need to do grounding as our main task instead of keep going up and up and up and up. All right? And... Uh, this is where I ground myself. <laughs> so I hope you get a chance to visit sometime. Uh, it would be a pleasure to have you here. If you have any other questions, let me know and uh, we'll keep the conversation going. Thank you.